they have to pull it through. There you have some. What, I have to get the blood? Yeah, I suppose it's, um... So you're just going to let you know about some of our giving talks, just in time to give for it, but feel free to stick around. If you'd like to learn some awesome facts about these smaller apes. If you haven't met me this morning, my name is Jenny. Feel free to ask me any questions as well. If you've missed anything or want anything that you want to know about the animals. Um, I will start wow. over with our Agile Gibbons that are to my left hand side. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about those and then go on to the other species and about oh, Gibbons in general. Why they're really important for a nice oh. healthy ecosystem no, and even for true. us as well. Mm -hmm. So they are being fed at the moment too, so you might see some food scattered across their quid like ceiling. Um, these guys are arboreal, so it means that they stay high up naturally out into the wild and also here at Clive So stay up high. We've been trying to imagine these guys living in big rainforests out in Southeast Asia. You can see everything around you if you're higher up, especially any potential predators. But also your favourite food is higher up as a gibbon, so lots of different kinds of fruit. So we give them scatter feed, so again a mixture of food. You might see some vegetables, you might see some nuts and things like puzzle feeders as well, even boxes. We give them lots of food enrichment, so feeding them in many different ways. They can also eat insects as well, and some species of gibbons in the wild will also eat yeah, smaller mammals and rodents. <laughs> so they are classes of omnivores, and of course they love to eat different foliage as well. So different types of leaves, plants, flowers, and buds as well. And they make them grow out in the wild. So we do give them um, a little bit of fruit here at Five Plus Zoo. Usually at the end of the day and when our people are healthcare training the gibbons. So this means if we ever need to weigh an animal um, or give them any vaccinations, we've got something as a positive to all of them with if they want to be in a bowl. It is usually their favourite. So it's fruit by our gibbons. We can't give them too much fruit, it's a lot higher in sugar for the fruit from the supermarkets. We've genetically changed fruit for our taste. The higher in sugar levels, but of course in the wild it's all nice and natural. So this is why gibbons are very important for a nice, healthy habitat and ecosystem. They're classed as a seed disperser, so when they eat lots of fruit out of the wild, they of course will take it from the seeds. And then if they do, it drops down to the floor of the forest, and then seeds may grow into trees and new plants. So there's extra food in the wild um, in the future for the animals, and also coverage as well on the forest floor for any animals that they need to uh, protect themselves away from predators. So a little bit about our agile gibbons. These guys are what we call polymorphic, so male and females can be either of that black or brown colour. In this group, we've got a little family group, we've got mum and son. Mum is the black gibbon and son is the brown gibbon. And you'll see a trend, um, so they are all in family groups and again, keep it nice and natural. Um, out in the wild, you'd find them naturally in a family groups 